Hello again, students. This is Ms. Cesara, continuing with Unit 3, Ratios and Proportional Relationships. And today we have our last lesson. This is Lesson 6, Scale Drawings and Models. Today we're going to talk about scale drawings, which are basically just diagrams that represent an actual object. This is very applicable to your life because there are many careers out there that use scale drawings. Some of those careers include um, an architect, an astronomer. If you're interested in fashion design, you would use scale drawings. So hopefully you will find this interesting. Please find your guided notes and fill in the definition for a scale drawing. A scale drawing is a diagram of an object in which the dimensions are in proportion to the actual dimensions of the object. Below you see an example of a floor plan. This is an example of a scale drawing. On your scale drawing, you will always see dimensions, which we call the scale. The scale on a scale drawing tells us how the drawing's dimensions and the actual dimensions are related. The scale 1 inch to 12 feet, that's what we see here in our scale drawing, means that 1 inch in the floor plan represents an actual distance of 12 feet. If you need to press pause to continue writing your definition, please do so. For our example one, we're going to use the scale of a map. This question says, use the map of Maine to estimate the distance between the towns of China and New Sweden. In order to find the distance, what we're going to do is use our knowledge of ratios and proportions. You can see our scale is one centimeter to 65 kilometers. So we're going to write that ratio first. We're comparing our centimeters kilometers. So our scale is 1 to 65. Now you want to set that equal and fill in the things that you know. Now since we only have the map, we can actually measure with a ruler from China to New Sweden, which is from here to here. And it tells you down below, they've just given us the um, distance in centimeters is 4.5 centimeters. So if we were to actually measure this map, it would be 4.5 centimeters. So we're going to put that information in the numerator here in our ratio. And we're looking for the, the kilometers. Now, we have already learned how to solve a um, proportion within the same length, so we are going to cross multiply and then divide by 1. And 65 times 4.5 equals 292.5, and that will be measured in kilometers. So our final answer is 292.5 kilometers is the actual distance from China to New Sweden. Now let's try an example of finding a dimension on a scale model. Let's read this example. It says, a scale model of the White House appears in Tobu World Square in Japan. The scale used is 1 to 25. The height of the main building of the White House is 85 feet. Find this height on the model. What we're going to do is first write our proportion. So you usually want to compare your model, and we're going to compare that to the actual height. So let's fill in the things that we know. We know the scale is 1 to 25, so we're going to put 1 in the numerator where our scale model is going to go, and then we're going to put 25 for the actual height. That's our scale. And we're going to set that equal to what's given to us in the problem. It says the height of the main building of the White House is 85 feet. So it actually is 85 feet, and we want to know the height of the model. Notice both of my model heights are in the numerator, and both of my actual heights are in the denominator. And now we'll just solve the proportion by cross-multiplying and dividing. 8, 85 times 1 is 85, 
and you'll put that number in the house, and then you'll divide by that leftover number, which is 25, and 25 goes into 85 three times. I'll give us 10 left over, so we'll add a decimal and a zero, and we'll have to drop this zero here, and 25 goes into 100 four times. So the model height of the White House is 3.4. The last example we're going to do is actually finding the scale. This example says a museum is creating a full-size Tyrannosaurus Rex from a model. The model is 40 inches in length from the nose to the tail. The resulting dinosaur will be 40 feet in length. What is the model's scale? What, we're, what you're going to do is write your proportion or your ratios, and you should put your scale model dimension in the numerator, and then put your actual in the denominator. So first, let's write the ratio. The model is 40 inches, and the resulting dinosaur will be 40 feet. Now, this actually is our scale, but the problem is they are measured in different units. So we need to convert the 40 to inches by timesing by 12, because we know there's 12 inches in a foot. So 40 times 12 is going to give us 480 inches. And we can keep the 40 inches the same here. So now everything is in inches. Finally, we're just going to simplify the fraction. So I'll just cancel out these zeros for 4 over 48. And then we'll just divide the top and the bottom by 4. 4 divided by 4 is 1, and 48 divided by 4 is 12. So your actual scale is 1 over 12, or 1 to 12. Okay, now it's your turn to, pre to try some um, problems. Press pause on your video screen and try these three problems, and then check your answers. Okay, now I'm going to work through the problems, and I would like for you to check your answers as we go along here. The model of the Eiffel Tower in Toby World Square is 12 meters high. The scale used is 1 to 25. Estimate the actual height of the Eiffel Tower. So we want to always put our model dimension on the top and our actual dimension on the bottom. So our scale is 1 to 25. And we are going to set that equal to what we know from the problem. We know that the model is 12 meters high. So we're going to put 12 in the numerator's position where the model is in our ratio. And then this is our unknown quantity. And finally, we'll cross multiply and divide to get our answer for x. 25 times 12 is 300. And 300 divided by 1 is 300. So the answer is. 300. For number two, it says, on a map of Colorado, the distance from Rico to Lizard Head Pass on Route 145 is about 9.5 centimeters. From the map scale, one centimeter represents two kilometers. Estimate the actual distance. So again, we'll do our model over actual. And our scale is one centimeter to 2 kilometers. So we're comparing our centimeters to our kilometers. This is our map, and this is our actual distance. And we are going to set that equal to what the information we know in the, from the problem, which is the distance on the map. The distance on the map is 9.5 centimeters. So we'll put that in the numerator. Always keep whatever's in the numerator here needs to be the same over here. And then the kilometers, or the actual distance, is what we're looking for. And then we will cross multiply and divide by 1. So 9.5 times 2 is 19. x equals 19 kilometers. 
And then finally, the last one, it says the caboose on a model train is 6.75 inches long. The full-size caboose is 36 feet. What is the model scale? Again, we're going to compare model, the model, to the actual. The model is 6.75 inches, and the actual caboose is 36 feet. They want us to find the scale, just comparing the model to the actual is the scale. So this is technically the answer, but we do run into a problem when we see two different units. So we need to convert the feet into inches, and we can do that by doing 36 feet, and we know that there are 12 inches in each foot, so we're going to multiply 36 times 12, and I'll just do that really quickly here. Okay, so it's 432 inches and 6.75 inches can stay the same. And then, of course, you always need to reduce. We can divide the top and the bottom by 6.75. And the final answer is 1 over 64. The scale is 1 inch is equal to 64 feet. Okay, that concludes today's lesson, and congratulations, you have completed this unit. Great job, guys.